Howdy there, my Chim Chams. Welcome back to One Great Manga War. And today, we'll be going over my 2021 manga goals. New year means new manga. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first one I want to talk about, finishing Bleach. So right now, I am in the middle of the fake Katakura Town arc. And so that makes me about halfway through the whole series. I got a long way to go, um, but I am absolutely looking forward to it. From what I've been hearing about the Thousand Year Blood War and um, the new anime coming out, like I cannot wait to see what happens to everybody. And then of course, I'm really looking forward to the final showdown with Aizen and about volume 48. Super, super excited about that too. And seeing all the new stuff that happens with Ichigo and his friends. Um, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure you do know. Bleach is a series about a kid named Ichigo Kurosaki who has the ability to see ghosts. And one day, he sees um, Rukia, which is a who is a um, soul reaper. She gets severely wounded, and the only thing she can do to save herself is give Ichigo the powers of a soul reaper. And he immediately demolishes the Soul Reaper, the the, the 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 ghoul, or the thingy, the ghost, and that's the story of that's the beginning of the story of the Bleach, and it goes into um, the um, Soul Society arc, which is them having to rescue her, Arukia, um, for giving Ichigo the powers because it's trespassing, and then. We have, um, then we have the rest of the series, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be really good. Next thing we have is um, the Fist of the North Star Master Editions. Holy cow. I, I, I honestly cannot believe these. this whole thing is actually happening. Like, they're actually going to reprint Fist of the North Star. Oh, my word. I'm so freaking excited about it. Fist of the North Star, if you don't know already, is about a guy who is, like, monstrously powerful. And he just beats the crap out of bad guys going to city to city, stopping them. In the most violent way imaginable. Like, oh my word. It's, I'm so happy this is finally getting a reprint. Originally, they did them in comic books. Like, from the 80s. They, they, re, they did it back then. It was really cool. Um, I almost bought them. Um, but since we're finally getting them in a Jojonium style, oh my word, it's going to be so freaking cool. Um, I'm super happy too because they also did the uh, color editions back in the 2000s. And that is out of print, has crud, and is super expensive. So I'm really happy that they're finally going to reprint the series. And hopefully they complete it because I don't think there's a fully complete legal English translation of it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Next one we have is Kaguya-sama Love is War. I need to catch up on it. I am on like volume 6 out of, I believe, 18 now. So I am very, very far behind. And I, I love this series to death. Um, and what I've heard from the newer volumes about what's going on with the characters, oh man, like... It, it, it makes my heart, my heart gushes. Oh my word. Super excited about it. Um, hopefully Right Stuff will have a sale this year for Kaguya something like they did last year. And not be sold out in the first five minutes. Because <laughs> um, I would love to finish this series, uh, get up to date with the series. Because I need some more Kaguya Sama in my life. Next thing we have is... Dragon Ball Super. So, the Dragon Ball Super manga, if you don't know already, goes past the anime. It's got um, new content that hasn't been seen before, and I'm super pumped about it. They're on their second arc at the moment that hasn't been animated. Oh man, we're finally getting the first one in English. And, oh my word. So, Moro arc. From what I've heard about the Moro arc, it's supposed to be really freaking good. Some people are calling it the best arc in Super. 
um, which isn't <laughs> that hard to do, seeing that you have the best arc most people say is the Termin of Power, which is has literally no story in my opinion. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the Moro arc has in store. Moro has such a freaking awesome design. Like I love it. It's sick. So I'll. I'm excited to see what they also do with Vegeta's character because I've been hearing he gets a lot of character development in this arc, so I'm super excited about it. Next one, but la last but not least, is the biggest one I'm looking forward to trying out this year, and that is Battle Royale. Oh boy, so Battle Royale, the manga is a two th was made in 2000 to ran from 2000 to 2005 it was published by tokyo pop which means it's out of print just like gto initial d and back which sucks because for what i've heard about it it is a freaking great series battle royale is often considered one of the rarest manga of all time and one of the most sought after manga of all time due to its very controversial nature <laughs> we'll just keep it as that battle royale um, the manga was based off the book and it's written by the same guy which eventually got turned into a movie and has literally created the whole battle royale genre so Fortnite, PUBG, Apex Legends and um, what's, what's that one book <laughs> oh my god how do I not remember it and Hunger Games and Hunger Games um all have been inspired by this book. It's a story about ninth graders who are kidnapped and put on an island and are forced to kill each other. And only one person is allowed to leave. Last one standing. And oh man, do I love the battle royale genre. The idea of anybody can die at any point in time. And that leads to a lot of suspense. And that's just such a cool idea. And I'm super excited to try it out. The artwork is freaking gorgeous. Like, I'm gonna post some images in it. But it's freaking gorgeous. Um, but the, you may have you may have heard me earlier saying it was controversial, and the <laughs> and the reason it's controversial is it's very very gory, like. It should not. The amount, it's over the top gore. It, there's no reason it should be as gory as it is. So, I notice how I said I didn't want to collect the whole series. I want to try it out first. I want to dip my toes in Battle Royale before I buy the whole series because it is a beautiful, beautiful artwork, but it is gory. So, yeah, with all that, that is my. Um, 2021 manga goals uh, to recap we have I want to finish Bleach complete it all since the new anime is coming out I want to collect the Fists of the North Star Master Editions super excited about that the new Dragon Ball Super manga um, arc I want to collect the I want to catch up to it and read all the Moro new Moro stuff I want to catch up to Kaguya-sama Love is War since I love that series so much and I don't have enough of it and then finally, I want to try out Battle Royale. And that is it for us today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day. And see you soon, my chimchams.